share my stuff. Make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, I'm going to show up and cough on you. I don't have any virus or anything, but still, coughing is not nice. It's not a nice thing to do. People shouldn't do it. Nobody should ever get sick. It's rude. Mountain. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about dumbbell presses and why I don't usually, usually lock out on dumbbell presses. So a lot of you guys have been around here for a long time and you know that I believe in train the muscles, not the joints, meaning you're training the joints anyway, so there's no point in beating the crap out of the joints unnecessarily when the muscles aren't getting extra work from doing so. And because the last thing you want to do is just wear your joints out or basically get injuries, right? So there's a lot of people that are resting on their joints or bouncing off their joints or overextending and locking out in the wrong circumstance. So this is causing a lot more tendonitis and problems so they cannot continue training. So the whole purpose of this whole bodybuilding thing is to be able to continue training. So that said, when I say locking out, why I don't usually lock out for the obvious reason Totally locking out, like locking out the arms straight and stuff will put unnecessary strain on the joints. And if you look at jujitsu, that's exactly when you get hyper extensions. And all you have to do is look at YouTube fail videos and you'll find all sorts of accidents that happen from locking out, especially locking the knees out during leg press. You see people's knees bend backwards, all this sort of thing. So when I say locking out in this circumstance, I'm talking about extension all the way just short of lockout. So there's always a slight bend in the elbow or slight bend in the knees when you're training. This is really important for you to remember, you're never supposed to lock out and rest that weight on the joints, although a lot of people do so in order to preserve their energy and do an extra set or two. And this can be dangerous because, yeah, when you're giving the muscles a rest, they're not protecting the joint. In that case, all the ligaments and joint and, and labrum and whatever else is actually taking the stress, and that's when you can get a, a real bad injury. So why don't I lock out, just short of lockout is what I mean, why don't I lock out on incline presses with dumbbells or on flat dumbbell presses. Well, the reason why is because I find when I lock out or go just short of lockout that I start bringing in my front delts a lot. My shoulders end up hitting failure long before my chest does. And if you know anything about gaining muscle, you do want to exploit the stretch part of an exercise and keep the tension during the stretch part as much as possible in order to get results. Now, it doesn't mean that contraction is unnecessary, but if you have to contract three or four other muscle groups in order to contract another muscle group, there is a chance that one of those other muscle groups is gonna hit failure long before the muscle that you wanna hit is. So case in point, when I'm doing incline presses and I'm locking out, most of the time my triceps and my delts are getting more of the work and the stabilizer muscles in my rotator cuff instead of my chest. Now, does this mean it's useless to train just short of lockout and to extend all the way up? Well, no, it's not useless. You will work some other muscle groups, which we do wanna work all the muscle groups, of course. But if you're having trouble isolating the chest, sometimes doing this may work against you, especially in certain individual situations. Case in point, again, I'm gonna use that, that, that phrase again. Case in point, I have a dislocating shoulder and a torn rotator cuff from hockey injuries and because of the extra instability in those joints I have to work exponentially hard during the lockout to stabilize so therefore there's an even greater risk of certain muscle groups hitting failure instead of the chest muscle itself so this is the main reason why you do not see me train this way as far as locking out now can I lock out well yes I can here's a set or a few sets where I am doing so and I actually enjoy doing these thank you very much
So this answers your question. From time to time, I will go short of lockout and do extended ranges of motion with certain pressing movements, but I don't do this all the time and I go by feel mostly. And if I feel that my shoulders are burning and hitting failure long before my chest is, or say my triceps are hitting failure long before my chest is, then I make a conscious strategic decision to stay within the range of motion that is keeping that tension on the chest for the longest time. So time under tension becomes longer for the chest muscle. And that's my goal is, is to increase the chest size in this case because yeah, that's why I'm doing incline presses is for chest development specifically. So yeah, this is an example of how you can apply strategic range of motion. I hope this answers your question why I might use different strategic ranges of motion from time to time. And thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get hold of me, just go to naturalglandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now and share my stuff. Make sure you subscribe.